I would rather drag my bare coochie across hot coals and concrete, bitch, and then nurse my wounds with vinegar and salt water before I give attention to a nigga who is proven to me and showing me consistently that he don't motherfucking want me, okay? I know it's Resurrection Sunday, Happy Easter, and all of that goodness. Some of y'all need to resurrect y'all's goddamn self-esteem and stop following these fuck niggas who don't want you. They not bad men just because they don't want you. They just don't motherfucking want you. You posting hard eyes on all they pictures every time they post some shit. Hard eyes. Mm, you so sexy inboxing them. Bitch, you know how fucking desperate you look when you inboxing a nigga who don't fucking want you, bitch? Who don't pay you no mind? Bitch, he don't even fucking follow you. Have you noticed that? He don't even fucking follow you, bitch. You give him all this motherfucking attention? Girl, how y'all doing? Y'all know I ain't got no damn coup. Shit. I said, you know, all the saints stay in church on this Sunday morning. Meanwhile, our motherfucking asses are sitting here in bed talking to each other, bitch. Child. Somebody said to me, they just said, in, they, who was it, Warnell? Warnell said, you cussing on Easter Sunday? I said, well, shit. The saints at church, sir. So I'm here with y'all motherfucking ignorant asses. That's why I can say how what I want to say now. Later on, about two o'clock, when the when the saints get home from church, then I gotta go back to being holy, so that, so they don't have so they don't got to see me. They ain't got to hear me saying all this shit. But in the meantime, we can have a real conversation while they at church, okay? Oh Lord, what y'all doing? I'm gonna answer a couple questions and I'm gonna go. That's all I'm gonna do. That's all I'm gonna do. Hold on, Instagram got me fucked up the way they put these comments and I can't read this shit no more. Hold on, what's this question say? Oh, you love me, baby? I love you too, baby. What's this one say? I just got to go through them. I can't even read the comments. Can you make a page? Oh, I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. I can't see the questions. How do you get to know somebody correctly? By being your damn self. Be authentic. Be real. Is I say if you're authentic, you good. Just be authentic. I, I, you can't go wrong being real. Just being yourself. You know what I mean? Just be yourself. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You ain't, it, ain't, it ain't nothing to it but to do it. Just be yourself. Write y'all's questions in the window. Don't write them in the thing. Write them in the window. Because like this, this shit the Instagram got going on, I can't tell. Um, but yeah. You said, what's your take on relationships in prison? I don't know, bitch. I need dick on the daily if I'm going to have a nigga. So I don't know if that works for me. Um, but you know, do you, but back to what I was saying was be yourself, honey. If you being authentically yourself, there's no wrong way to get to know somebody. I'm going to be my full motherfucking self, whether you like it or not. You know what I'm saying? Cause if you like me and you rock with me for who I am, then you're going to love it. If you don't like who I really am, then get the fuck on. What the fuck I got to worry about? You said, I seem like a great boss or mentor. I think I am. I'm very tough, but I'm fair. Um, I definitely am. I think that's one of the things that probably surprises people when they first start working with me, especially people who know me from being in the public. They'll be like, oh my God, MJ, blah, 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 thinking I'm going to be this at work. No, I ain't built this this big ass business being like this. I got to be a motherfucking CEO. You know, hire fast, fire fast. That's why I say you hire people fast and you fire people fast. Don't ever linger. You know, I make sure to treat people with fairness and kindness, and I reward people very well. You can join my team by clicking the link on my Instagram page. All right, let's see here. Let's see here. You said you're not watering yourself down for no nigga? Bitch, please don't, because they don't water themselves down for y'all. They sure the fuck don't. Um, Warno, so what you cooking or ordering um, for um, for Easter with me and nephew son? Um, I'm ordering food. I ain't cooking shit tonight. Um, mm -mm. I'm trying to get my body all all the way right for this new, for coming out of quarantine. Um, let's see here. What's somebody say? What? How can you get a man? Hold on. Oh, uh, how can you get a man? You curve back. Oh, that's easy, bitch. They want you just motherfucking get in his face and tell him how sexy is. Compliments gets anybody's attention. How do you be a surgeon in relationships? Opening your mouth and saying what the fuck is on your mind. Um, let me see here. Oh, oh what's the name? Ch Chazelle says, I'm I'm in bed under the blankets just like you. Yes, bitch. Um, let's see here. I'll give y'all an update on how I feel post-vaccine in a couple hours. I got to give myself some time. I'll, I'll let you know. Um, somebody said, why you got covers covering your breasts? Because I need to cover my titties, nigga. 
The fuck? I'm I'm a decent, classy bitch. I don't come on camera just showing my titties off to the world unless y'all are gonna pay me for this shit. Then you can cash at me. I'll show you some titty if you want to, honey. All right, whatever you need, honey. This bitch has always been for sale. Don't play with me. How do I overcome the fear of dating? By doing it until you stop fearing it. Shit, that's how you overcome the fear of anything. Do it until you're not scared of it no more. Courage is not built from sitting on the sidelines waiting for you to have courage. Courage is built from doing it while you're afraid. And if you do anything while you're afraid enough times, you'll get used to it and the fear won't matter. How do you stop being so thirsty? You just got out of a marriage and you feel like you're thirsty. Oh, baby, you just need some dick. That's all that is. You ain't thirsty. You just need some dick and somebody to hold you and kiss the lonely away. You say you need a man. No, you don't, baby. You just need some dick. A nigga and a dick is just two different things, baby, okay? You don't need a man right now if you just got out of a marriage. You need to find yourself somebody who can come kiss the lonely away, hug up on you when you need him. He ain't got to be marriage material, baby. He just need to have a dick the right the, the, that's the right shape and size for you and know how to hold you the right way. Sometimes the ones who ain't worth should be the best ones to come and kiss the lonely away when you get no from. You, 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 done left, you, you done left your man and you're waiting on a real man to come along so you find yourself a piece of man. I don't get pregnant by that piece of man because some of these bitches done done that. They raising kids from a nigga who was a piece of nigga that they should have just been fucking. Okay, baby? So, mm-mm. That's what you do. Y'all got to understand. Just sometimes you, you, you be thinking your heart talking and it's really just your coochie. Y'all don't understand. It's just your coochie. Stop, stop listening to that. Stop listening to that. She just want to be held and hold and touched. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. You say, how do you deal with an emotionally sensitive man? Oh, baby, I'm the last one to ask about that, honey. I can't deal with a man who's overly sensitive. Like, I like sensitive, but not overly sensitive. Like, you hurt my feelings. I dated this nigga years ago, bitch. Every, every goddamn thing. You hurt my feelings. I was like, nigga, every motherfucking thing. You say you look at me, the way you looked at me hurt my feelings. At one point in time, bitch, I just got so mad. And one night, one night I, just, I just had to tell him about himself. I said, you sound like a bitch. Girl, to my 20s, I ain't had no fucking coof back then. I swear to God. I said, you sound like a bitch. Why would you say that to me? You hurt my feelings. Nigga, fuck your goddamn feelings. You always crying about some shit. You bitch, nigga. Girl, I used to be a motherfucker. Ooh, I, was, I was terrible back in the day. Terrible. I was a sweetheart, but bitch. And when I couldn't deal with you, I was just like, Ugh. probably should have just broke up with him. But yeah, honey, I was a mess. I was. I did. I apologized to him after the breakup. Now, mind you, he was an old bitch nigga. He ain't apologized for his bitch niggerness, but that's okay. That's all right. Who he used to fuss about everything. Everything. Why does he only pay attention to you when you ignore him? Because y'all are in a cat and mouse game, so you need to stop fucking dealing with him. If the only way a man's going to pay you attention is by ignoring him, then he's not the one for you, bitch. Okay, that's a power struggle y'all in. That ain't no fucking relationship. Just be done with his ass. You know, or bring it to his attention. You only pay your attention to me when I ignore you. I'm done. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, yeah, show me your consistency, and maybe I'll consider. Okay, let's see him. Um... Somebody says she's 59 and has been single for over 10 years. What advice can I give you, baby? I don't know what the advice to give you on that because that's by choice at this point in time. You, you 59, you've been single for, for 10 years. Ain't no niggas done come up on you. You know, niggas don't care. You could be 29, 59, 89, and a nigga going to talk to you. At least give you some attention. So what you doing over there? I need you to self-examine yourself and start thinking about what are you doing while you are not receive, accepting the invites coming your way or putting yourself out there. Because I find it hard to believe that in 10 years, ain't nobody looked at you one time. Nothing. I don't believe that. Mm-mm. Y'all be asking me for advice and sometimes the questions you need to be asking is to yourself. Like, why am I blocking this part of my life from developing? Somebody said, this is my type of church service, a Sunday service. Hallelujah. 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 That's right. She just needs some vitamin D, honey. She needs some vitamin D. Sometimes that's I want a man. Bitch, no, you don't want no man. You don't want no man. You want a nigga snoring beside you every night. That's what you want. It's nice when you want it, but if you're not ready for that, you want old nigga, old nigga asking you where you at, where you been, where you going. Ooh, that's nice when you want it, but is that what you want right now? Ooh, Jesus, honey. You want old nigga to be fussing about this and fussing about that? You know, some of y'all like those little toxic Tonys out there. 
Mm-hmm. No, nah, baby, what you need is some good dick. I said, if you think you want a nigga, bitch, go on ahead and get you some good dick on the regular. Get you some good regular dick, some D.O.D., bitch. Get, get you some dick. Mm-hmm. After you get you some dick, then you tell me if you still want a man. Some of y'all be like, I thought I wanted a man. <laughs> I did not I just need this my fucking wig split, bitch. I need this fucking back broke. And now you don't want no nigga. Y'all be thinking, I want a husband. No, bitch, you just want some dick on the regular. Because y'all don't want what come with a husband. You know, husbands require you to uh, to enhance yourself. You got to learn to compromise. And some of you bitches can't compromise yet. Husbands require you to stop being so ornery and, and, and uh, fucking learn to, 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 to resolve a conflict without giving the silent treatment for days at a time. Because some of you ignorant bitches is out here giving niggas a silent treatment thinking that's going to change some shit. All that does is alienate niggas and make them cheat on you. Don't You didn't get that from me, honey. Oh, yes. You think that niggas just, just cheat on you for pussy? No, baby. They cheat on you for validation for other women. You mad at them so you getting the silent treatment, treating him like you did or not. I always got a fucking attitude. Well, bitch, yeah, he gonna get validation when well, he gonna get validation. And that little trampy ass teen at his job, she gonna give him lots of validation because she know, she know the moment he come into work after you done argue with him all night and he looking all tired, she know exactly what to say, bitch. So you ready for that? Are you ready to work on you? Or you not? Get some dick, bitch. That's all you need is some dick. Mm-hmm. You were to work through your trust issues. Oh, my Jesus. Yeah, some of you bitches, I know you've been hurt by life. Your daddy did you wrong. Your mama did you wrong. Everybody did you wrong. You know, Tony's trash ass did you wrong in the last relationship. But, bitch, you still got trust issues. How is it 15 years later after your last relationship and you still can't trust the nigga? Bitch, it ain't the niggas at this point. It's you, bitch. <laughs> you ready to work on that? Oh, no. Just find you some dick, honey. Sometimes dick is all you need because, bitch, you're not really ready for a nigga. You're really not. All right, let's see here. Somebody say, how you cheer up after a breakup? Oh, baby, give yourself some time. Only time does that, baby. And, and yank the Band-Aid off, uh, so to speak. What I mean by that is this. Um, stop, stop, uh, stop following on social media. Don't be meeting up with them in person. They need to be invisible to you. They, it needs to be like they don't exist in your mind, right? Um, so what I mean by that is when you break up with somebody, block them on social media, block their phone number, block everything about them. If they mail is getting forwarded to your house, set up mail forward and send that shit elsewhere. You take all pictures down. You need to have a blackout period. This doesn't mean that you're going to be like this forever, but it does mean that for a solid at least six months, this is what you need. They be like, well, I ain't doing any work and I talk to you, Nick. It's not about what you did to me. It's about my need to heal. And I need to expedite my healing process. The only way I can expedite my healing process is to be disconnected from you. Nothing against you, my brother. But it's about me. That's how you get over it. Y'all be like, well, we still hang out occasionally. We still do this. We still do that. I'm just trying to get them. Oh, shit. You better get out and get the fuck on. Uh-uh. I don't give a fuck. Uh-uh. And here's the thing. Um, they say he a good man. I don't want to do him like that, bitch. That's why you got to do him like that. Cause he was such a good man. Your heart's still going to yearn for him. Tell you nothing. People say, well, what you do when you got kids? I still got to deal with him. No, the fuck you don't, bitch. You better ask when he go to one of your good relatives or something like that. And be like, listen, I am struggling to get over this relationship, um, for dropping the kids off and stuff like that. Can I, girl, can I pay you? I don't care if it's $50 a week, something like that, where you can drop him off over Tony's house and pick him up, bitch. I just need that. I can't be seeing him. I don't want no connection to him right now. You know what I'm saying? The kids bring up daddy, change the subject. Daddy, da da da. Mm-hmm, baby. Did you want, what did you want? Did you want pop roast or steak for dinner? Okay. Okay. They're like, Mama, is Mama deaf or something? She can't hear. Act like you can't hear, bitch. It's about self preservation. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, bitch. Let's see here. I'm looking for my comments here. I'm looking for my, my questions. You better do what you got to do, bitch. Let me see here. I'm reading my, what's my next question? Um, you say so many men are trying to get with you. How do you trust them, baby? How do you learn to trust yourself? Y'all be crying about, I don't know how to trust nobody. Well, baby, how you learn to trust yourself? Trust yourself. Trust your instincts. Trust your own discernment. I don't worry about who's trustworthy and who's not trustworthy around me. I worry about my own discernment. Because if you're not trustworthy, my discernment and my instincts are going to show me and tell me that. So all I got to do is trust me. I ain't got to worry about all that. If I see something off, I'm going to trust that shit. Some of y'all say you got trust issues toward other people. No, it ain't trust issues toward other people. It's trust issues towards yourself. You don't trust yourself to identify who's good for you and who's not good for you. And therefore, you like, oh, since I don't know who's good for me, who's not good for me, I don't know how to trust people. Nah, baby, you need to learn to trust yourself. Learn to listen to your own instincts. Let's see here. You say, what if you have kids so you need to co-parent? Like I said, during the breakup period... During the breakup period, 
you know, for just a couple months, this ain't forever. Have somebody else help you out. You know, in terms of dealing with him, being the middleman. It's just a couple months you can get over him. The quicker you do this, the quicker you'll be over him. Should a woman date a man that just got out of jail? Y'all got lots of jail questions, huh? Um, I'm not going to sit up here and say no to that because I don't know the man. That's a very broad question. I don't know who he is or what his character is. You know, I say, sure, date whoever you want to date, you know? Um, uh, let's see here. Um... Mm-mm, mm-mm, let me read here. I'm reading y'all's questions here. Y'all got live and some scrunch scroll up. Yeah, you're right. Your judgment should be enough. Um, baby doll here just said, How do you trust people? Listen to the answer I just gave, baby. That was what I was saying to it. Um, let me see here. I'm reading y'all's questions. See, write them in here. Don't write them in the other thing. Write them on the actual chat screen because I can't see the other one right now. You see here? Somebody says, am I watching Earth, Wind, and Fire versus Ron Isley on the versus thing? I may watch that. I may watch that. Oh, you said you're getting married in a month, and you, but you don't feel like your partner has fully accepted you for who you are, and that scares you. Well, why don't you trust your instincts? And I'm not saying don't get married, but I am saying maybe some counseling would be good for y'all. The day, shit, the day I walk down a motherfucking aisle for a nigga I'm unsure of, bitch, hell no. Mm-mm. Counseling, bitch. Delay the, date, the wedding date a, a couple months until y'all figure some shit out. But don't be rushing or nothing. You say, how do you start worried about what he might be doing? Work on your trust issues. You may not be ready for a relationship right now. Or the relationship you're in may re- be requiring you to grow in some really radical ways like working on your trust stuff. Therapy is very good for working through that. Bitch, I used to be like that. Ooh, child. I used to drive myself crazy worried about where my man was at. Where he at? What he doing? Every time his phone went off, bitch, I'm... Bitch, I got good. I, I could make this motherfucking eye go over there while this one's still staying facing the TV. I'm, I be, bitch, I, I had a trick. I could do that. See what the fuck he was doing. Bitch, I used to be so paranoid. I was so scared he was going to hurt me. If that nigga didn't call me back within, I don't know, an hour or whatever the time frame that I was accustomed to with him, and I was wondering what he was doing, bitch, I would give him an attitude once he did call. You all right? No, I'm fine. No, I wasn't fine. Because I just went through a whole anxiety attack not hearing from you. Bitch, um, if if it was a day, if it was, if he got off of work and I didn't know where he was at, is this now the time he cheating on me, bitch? Oh, girl. Girl. And you know what the problem was back then? I didn't want to admit it to myself. I didn't want to admit it to myself. And I certainly didn't want to admit it to other people. So I thought, I'm going to sound crazy and paranoid. And then I realized, no, a lot of people struggle with trust, bitch. Oh, yeah, I got, I struggled with trust. I certainly did. I did. You know, some of these bitches be talking about, oh, I trust all men. And so I trust everybody. And so they proved me that they have a reason, that I have a reason not to trust them. I said, bitch, that must be a, that must be a wonderful fucking life, bitch. That sounds so peaceful and calm, but I'm not wired that way, okay? Bitch, I, back then my logic was, I don't motherfucking trust your ass until you prove to me that you are trustworthy. And how could I not feel that way, right? How, um, how, how can, how can I not feel that way? Right? Because I went through so much shit, you know, I went through sexual assault, sexual abuse from men, you know, all kinds of shit, dealing with fuck niggas and shit like that. Like I went through some really terrible experiences. And for me, what I had to do was I had to get into some therapy, bitch, and work through that shit. And one of the first things I learned to do was to trust myself and trust my own instincts. So I didn't have to be worried about no man. The other thing I had to do was increase my own sense of self-value and self-respect. Bitch, listen when I tell you this, okay? All right. And I, my skin look good than I had no makeup on, bitch. I'm 36 years old, bitch. You see a line on this face? Ignore those up there. Okay, I'm going to give me some. Child, I may give me some Botox. They say, but I'm afraid to get Botox. I'm afraid I ain't going to have no goddamn facial expressions if I do. Anyway, y'all. Um, um, but yeah, I had trust issues. But once I learned to trust myself and I learned to have a greater sense of self-value, didn't it occur to me? It's like, first of all, bitch, ain't no nigga ever done you wrong without you knowing that he was on some fuck shit first. Because your instincts told you, bitch. Right? Your instincts told you, right, that he, this nigga was on some fuck shit. So, ain't no, so with that understood... You you already saw signs up front. You didn't trust those signs. You need to learn to trust signs. I learned to trust my signs and my instincts. And then once I got a greater sense of self-value to know that, no, I deserve the best. And if a nigga tries some shit on me, bitch, just be done with him. Okay, it may hurt 
Okay, fine. Fuck it. But it's going to hurt more to stick with his ass, you know, so just be done with this. So once I had a greater sense of confidence about who I am and what I deserved, I wasn't scared of no nigga hurting me. Be like, oh my God, I'm going to chase this nigga. Not chasing him. You know, like, I got to figure out what he doing. You know what I mean? And what he at. Bitch, I ain't got to do that. If he cheating, if he doing some fuck shit, it will pop up at some point in time, probably much sooner than later. And if and or when that pops up, you already know the zeal. You know the drill. I'm done with his motherfucking ass. His shit is on the sidewalk. Okay, bitch? And if he comes knocking on my door, he's not going to like what he sees on the other side of that door. Okay? We're done. You see what I'm saying? And my thing is this. Bitch, what a nigga, what one nigga don't know how to do, or one, what one nigga won't do in terms of act right, eight other niggas will do, bitch. You know how many motherfucking niggas is waiting for a whiff of that shit? I'm telling you, bitch, y'all be forgetting about the other niggas, bitch. Sometimes you have to remind yourself. That's why I say, bitch, you need to dress your best every motherfucking day, bitch. I don't give a fuck what's going on. Now, and I will say pandemic excluded, bitch. Bitch, I don't give a fuck, okay, bitch? This girl walks out the house done, okay, bitch? Always has a cute bag, always in a cute heel, bitch. Not a heel heel, I wear a shoe, bitch. I know some guys wear heels, hats off to them, but bitch, that shit hurt my feet. I tried that one time, just one time. It was for like, we were doing something, we were filming it. Oh, y'all saw the video, right? Bitch, oh my God, I want to die. But anyway, figuratively speaking, a heel. But yeah, I always am in a, in a cute heel, always done up, always smell good as fuck. Okay, I smell good. Bitch, coochie always clean. Just that's just for myself. Even though I ain't giving out no coochie these days, unless I got me a nigga and I ain't got no nigga at this moment. But coochie always right, cause that just I feel like that's a personal sense of your own confidence when your coochie is right, you know. And so I just feel like for me, what the fuck I'm worried about some nigga doing me dirty. The fuck I'm worried about that? Hell no. My instincts is going to push away dirty ass niggas before they can even get to me. And if a dirty nigga does happen to get through the instincts, maybe I'm ignoring some shit or whatever. And he do me dirty. Bitch, I'm going to notice that shit real motherfucking fast and get rid of him real motherfucking fast. So with that said, I ain't got to motherfucking stress myself out, bitch. I used to be stressing myself out chasing after these niggas making sure he was doing right. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Nigga, I need you. Do me dirty. Do me real dirty. That way I can clear you out. Because there's another nigga who I was considering before I decided on you. So by you removing yourself from the roster, my nigga, that now allows me to move on to him, bitch. I've been waiting to try him, but you just happen to be first in line. Try me if you want to. Niggas be real motherfucking acting real brand new and shit, right? They be like, how you just going to move on that fast? How you going to move on that fast? It's like, it's like I never even fucking existed. Yeah, nigga. Because I had a backup in place the whole fucking time. I wasn't cheating. I wasn't talking or conversing with him. I was not doing all that stuff. Uh, I'm a good bitch. But at the end of the day, honey, trust and believe, bitch. Okay? And so we hit a certain threshold in our loving of each other and our connectedness and our, and our trust towards each other. Just know and believe I still got, I still got your motherfucking, I got, I got the motherfucking, what they call it, the, the thing when you're in a stage play and you got the person who, who do the part when you're not there. What you call those people? Not the backup. Um, I don't know what you call me. Write that in here. Y'all, y'all in the theaters, y'all know about this stuff, but I got that motherfucking nigga waiting on me. My, the plan B, not in the pregnancy sense, but I got, I got somebody else waiting. Okay. In the back of my mind. Okay. Uh, stand in. I don't know what the fuck the shit is, but y'all know what the fuck I'm talking about. The, you see what I'm saying? I'm not here to play. Now, once I'm in love with you and we good and shit like that, uh, uh-uh, I ain't even thinking like that. But in the begin understudy, that's what you call them, understudy. You're understudy. Thank you so much, prototype mommy. Okay, I knew one, I knew, I said, I knew you bitches are smart. Thank you, Warner. I said, you bitches is real smart. Somebody got some shit for me, okay? And John, Arthur, Brittany, I love all you girls. Oh, smart bitches. I love you. Okay, but that's right, bitch. I got the understudies. Okay, bitch, I got the understudies, okay? Sitting right the fuck there. All right, and I'm not conversing with them. I'm not touching them. I'm not, I'm not doing that, none of that fuck shit because I'm a good girl. But at the end of the day, trust and believe you fuck up. Bitch, how about this, bitch? Years ago, I was just getting to know a nigga, okay? Wasn't getting to know him that long, bitch. Anywho, I hit this nigga, tried some fuck shit on me. I don't know what he did, some shit like that. I don't know, acting funny with his phones and shit like that. Not, it, was, it was obvious what was going on, bitch, Okay. I confronted him about it. He gave me some lame ass answer. I caught him in a lie. I was like, you guys get the fuck out of my house. No, we was out and about. We was out and about. We weren't at the house. So we drive back to the house because he had parked in my house. And he was like, all right, I'm coming upstairs. I was like, actually, you're not. So all this had happened while we was out. I was like, no, you're not. He's like, really? I was like, no, you're not. And he was like, wow, what's up? Why are you tripping? I was like, you need to go home. 
He was like, I got some stuff upstairs. I was like, I'll go up and get it and bring it down. Bitch, I certainly the fuck did. Called the concierge. I said, ex- I went upstairs. He was expecting me to come back down. Called the concierge. Excuse me. Could you please take these down to the gentleman? Yep, the one out front. Uh-huh. Yeah, j- take it out to him. Thank you. Oh, you're not even going to come down? I'm not. I'm not. Bitch, you know why I wasn't coming down? Because the bitch had to make a call. Okay, bitch. Hey. <laughs> nah, what you doing? Nothing. Mm-mm, me neither. I'm hungry. That's how the bitch. This how you. This how you ask a nigga to ask you on a date, bitch. I'm hungry. You know, hungry. Mm. Okay. Well, I ain't got no dinner plans. No, I don't. Uh. Uh-uh. Me by the phone. Boop 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 boop. He tried to call the other line, bitch. Hunger for. Okay. Mm. No, I have no plans. Um. Yeah, I could be ready in an hour. <laughs> Are you taking me out? <laughs> okay, I feel special. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me get myself together. Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. Give me hour 15. I want to make sure I look good for you. Bitch, bye. Bitch, bye. I don't go fuck. Oh, he's still calling me shit. Hold on. Block his ass. Let me block his ass real fast. Okay, bitch. Okay, bitch, go take a shower. Okay, put on a new perfume, honey, because I don't want to be smelling like that old nigga. You know how sometimes your scent be associated with a nigga because that was the scent you wore a lot of the time when you was with him. Hey, Roxy, that was the scent you wore a lot of the time with him. So you got to motherfucking rotate out that scent for a little while. Not get rid of it, but rotate it out for a little while. Put on my new scent, bitch. Looking good. Okay, hold on. Let me make sure I look good before I go out here. Hold on. Okay, bitch. Hour later, I'm here with a new nigga. And honey, I'm not even playing to fuck him like that because I'm not doing that shit like that. You know, my pussy is, is real precious these days. Back in the day, honey, I was community meat. You know, bitch, I was giving her out everywhere, honey. That was my boot camp season of my life when I was practicing, okay, to make sure that, that I had that I had some good wifey coochie. Y'all don't understand. Y'all be thinking that in order to have good wifey coochie, you got to have your pussy on the shelf. No, nah, bitch, in order to have good wifey coochie, you got to have, it's got to be practiced, honey. She's got to be seasoned, honey, all right? Good coochie is like a good cast iron pan. Now, you now you country bitches know what I'm talking about, okay? You know how when you first get a new cast iron pan, it ain't right to cook on just yet. You got to season that motherfucker. You got to cook on it a good couple times. You got to make it right. That's how good coochie is. So I was getting my coochie seasoned. You see what I'm saying? So nowadays, none of my none of my coochies is the right way. I don't get, I don't be giving it out to everybody. But anyway, y'all, listen, bitch. So I went out with the nigga that night, bitch. And we all think, <laughs> he like, where you? been where you been at I, I, feel, I feel like you had a nigga you dating somebody you, you just curved me like a home like a motherfucker you wouldn't even answer my calls shut up you know i've been busy i know you ain't been sitting on the sidelines so don't sit up and act like that i ain't asked you about what you've been doing so don't be asking me what i'm doing but i'm sitting here right now i'm sitting here right now that's right roxy season just fucking get him hooked hooked bitch okay what i say the the, the tighter the snatch the quicker he'll attach okay so anywho um, so I'm, I'm like, <laughs> bitch, bitch, I'm letting this nigga just boost me up. Just boost me up. You'd be surprised how a new nigga taking you to dinner will make you forget about an old trash nigga real fucking fast. Okay, bitch. You like, <laughs> oh, I look good. Bitch, with something real cute. Bitch, y'all be, y'all don't understand. Compliments are invited in, bitch. That's why when you go out, bitch, you wear the old tight shit. You wear the old nice cute pants. I don't care if you can breathe, bitch. I don't give a fuck. You wear the cute shit. And that way he like, you look good as fuck, do I? <laughs> thank you so much mm-hmm. thank you handsome <laughs> bitch I done invited in all the motherfucking compliments to boost my self esteem up I need my self esteem boosted bitch the fuck self esteem boosting yes it's an inside job but sometimes I like to recruit in reinforcements okay and I do that with the fuck I'm wearing okay I be dressing real fucking cute all the motherfucking time cause I'm inviting in compliments bitch people say you should wear what you want to wear cause you like it bitch the fuck uh uh-uh. uh I wear what I want to so I can invite in compliments. I like compliments all day. That's what the fuck I do. Why the fuck you think I be wearing this shit when my ass be all sitting nice and pretty, titties be looking all nice and everything? I wear cute shit because I like a compliment. The fuck you think I'm wearing this shit for me? No, bitch, I'm wearing this for y'all's view and pleasure. And so that's what I do. That's how I say you ain't got to worry about no nigga. You ain't got to worry about no nigga when you know you keeping your shit right. That's why I don't understand why you bitches get in a relationship. 
Niggas do the same shit too. Why you get in a relationship and let the nigga and get fat? I don't understand this shit. You get into a motherfucking relationship and get fat. I don't understand that. Oh, we hum- we comfortable. We at home. So, you know, this me just dressing comfortable and being comfortable. The fuck I would. Bitch, hell motherfucking no, honey. I Nails done. I have been doing it in quarantine. But, bitch, I got my appointment set now that I did my, my vax. Bitch, nails. My norm. Y'all see me go back pre-quarantine, bitch. Yeah, that's what we all about. Bitch, remember how I look back then? <laughs> don't remember how I look now, bitch. Remember how I look back then, bitch. Nails always done, bitch. I got my manicures and my pedicures, a full gel set, bitch. Um, usually every two weeks. Okay, sometimes you gotta give your nails a break when you're doing gel because you don't want to mess up your um your your regular nail like a nail or whatever. But um, but yeah, um, every two weeks nails always done nail hands and feet, bitch. Don't be walking around no motherfucking hooves. Okay, um, always haircut, bitch. Okay, now in quarantine, you know you get what you get with me, bitch. I don't feel like doing all that work in quarantine, bitch. I ain't making no dick. The fuck I give a fuck about, okay? And so anyway, um. Bitch, always done up, okay, bitch. You better, you better. If if your if your stomach ain't right, bitch, you better put on a goddamn body shaper and quit motherfucking playing, bitch. I don't understand when I walk in and she not see a bitch's gut hanging out, bitch. You better motherfucking put on a body shaper and quit playing. The fuck you doing, bitch? I I don't care if you got a man. Like I was just saying, bitch, when you got a motherfucking man, that's why you need to look extra good to remind his motherfucking ass about what he needs to be cherishing. Okay, I'm saying this. These young bras got it right. These young bras. I'm in L.A. I, I be seeing these young bras with these old rich niggas. Okay, and that bitch always stays on point. That bitch always stays on point. It's, it's these old bras who don't understand, bitch. Okay, these motherfucking young bras who be with these old rich niggas, bitch. Let me teach you what they be doing. Bitch always looks good. Always looks good. Hair done, everything like that. And the old bras with the rich niggas who know what, like I know. Those bitches always look good too. Always done, okay? I don't I've been with him for 35 years and I make every day feel like the first day. You better, bitch. Okay, bitch. Sometimes just pull out a new wig on him. Just pull out a new wig on him. Just pull out a new wig on him, bitch. That's what I do, bitch. I would say, I now see, I don't now I'm I'm on, I'm doing more cardio these days, so I don't think I'm gonna need a body shaper. But bitch, y'all won't know the difference if I got one on in public. Y'all bitches that y'all certainly won't the fuck know. Trust and believe, bitch. Okay, bitch. I'm gonna make sure I look good at all motherfucking times. Okay. Every time I walk in a room with my nigga, I need him to be like, God damn, that's mine. Every time we around one of his little friends and shit like that, I need him to be like looking at his friends like, yeah, that's mine. I uh huh. Yeah, my nigga. Every time I'm around your motherfucking mama, your damn daddy, your sisters, and your brothers, okay, every day I need them to be looking at me like, God damn, son, you did that. You did that. You did that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hi, Mister Jenkins. <laughs> That's how I talk to this daddy. Hi, Mister Jenkins. Nice to meet you. Mm-hmm. Hi, Mrs. Jenkins. Yes. Mm-hmm. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much. She said, you're so beautiful. Thank you so much, Miss Jenkins. I appreciate that. You are so beautiful, too. That's what he gets it from. <laughs> Bitch, you better make sure you look good. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. I don't understand you bitches. How y'all don't, how y'all don't keep yourselves together. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Any, that's what I said. I said, Miss Jenkins. Thank you so much, Miss Jenkins. Y'all write more questions in here. I can't see them in the question box, okay? Oh, that's my damn dog. You said who's snoring? This big motherfucker right here. Right there. Just fucking up the moment. That's Max. Bitch, I'm so used to it. I be ignoring it. Um, what Roxy said, she said, hygiene is important. Some women, what is it? Some women hair be smelling. Can we talk about this? Bitch, that's why I get lasered. Now, I had to stop my laser treatment because quarantine happened, but I'm going back to get laser, you know. Um, but, bitch, yes, I think hair is so important, even even for straight niggas. Let me tell you this, okay? I know some straight niggas be like, oh, oh don't nobody be doing nothing to my ass. I'm like, nigga, bruh, you need to let that bitch motherfucking eat your ass if she willing to. Now, some bitches ain't willing to eat ass. And I'm, I've been trying to preach to you bitches about how if you eat if you eat booty, you get a Bentley, bitch, okay? I'm telling you, eat a nigga's ass the right way, bitch. She gonna take care of all your bills. Quit playing with me, okay? Um, But, yeah, I be telling niggas, I'm like, listen, girl, niggas, okay? Y'all need to listen, okay? Get laser on your motherfucking ass. That shit, like, ain't that much. It's barely $50 of treatment, depending on where you go. Get laser. Just get rid of the motherfucking hair, okay? Or if you don't want to do that, use some little, some little body hair clippers. Niggas, especially niggas, okay? 
tend to your motherfucking asshole. First of all, ain't nobody happy. Don't nobody want to see no goddamn ass in your asshole. Now, let me tell you why this matters, okay? Because picture this. She down there giving you, the, giving you the knowledge, giving you the business. You get where I'm going? Your, your asshole ain't but an inch from your balls, bitch. Okay, now listen, okay? It ain't but an inch. And so, and with that understood... Some of y'all be buying cheap toilet tissue and be having a little piece of toilet. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And so, yeah. And that's my thing. It get caught up in the hair. And so, if you clean as fuck back there, then it don't matter. It doesn't matter. Same to you bitches. Okay? Right? Get your mouth. Niggas, I don't understand niggas. Niggas, I don't understand why niggas be thinking that they more man because they don't get grown. Like, because you got these fucked up, fugly looking fucking feet. Bitch, who in my bed snoring? It's the damn dog. Max, wake up. Wake up. Wake up, wake up. You fucking up my show. You fucking up my show. Okay? He ain't gonna get the fuck up. Yeah. But I'm saying, get your motherfucking ass in. And like, I'm going back to what Roxy was saying. Hair is so important. Get your hair smells. Okay? That's why I think that if you're not gonna be hairless, at least be clean as a motherfucker. Okay, bitch? Be clean as a motherfucker. Okay, bitch? I believed in being hairless. When I'm in a relationship, bitch, I'm hairless. Okay? And I, that's why I was doing laser because I've been shaving... Okay, um, since I was shit fifteen, okay, bitch. Now I was, I was, I was an early, I was, I was an early bloomer, bitch. Okay, okay. So anyway, you know, it was what it was. But I just, I started um shaving back then because I was like, I, I want to smell good at all fucking times. Ugh, you see what I'm saying? I'm not against hair on people. I mean, you do what you do, just make sure you clean or whatever. But anyway, um, that's all I'm saying. What's my next question? Right, write that in here, okay. Write that in here. Write that in here. It's Max on. Hey, Marilia. All right. Oh, someone said they never heard a dog snoring that loud. Queen said that. This dog is big as fuck. He big. He, this is where he sleep. He sleep right here in my bed. Right there. I say if a bad, if the bad guy's coming, he can attack. Somebody say who's snoring like that? It's Max. This old big walrus looking ass nigga. You say, how can you connect on an emotional level? Um, how can you connect on an emotional level with men? The same way you connect with anybody. Be transparent with them and allow them to talk transparently about themselves. Ask some questions about themselves. Give a fuck about their feelings. Get them to talk about their deepest things. The thing is this. The deeper that people share, I, I, you know what? I don't like to fuck with niggas who, I don't want to talk about that. I don't want to talk. They got 85 parts of their path that they don't want to talk about because I can't connect with you. I can't connect with you. If my thing is, I'm good, baby. I'm better than my fucking Diane Sawyer, bitch. Okay, I'm from the school of Oprah, bitch. I can get a nigga to open up about anything. I can get anybody to open up about anything. So if I can't crack you, then you uncrackable, okay? Because that's how we connect. The more open you are with me, the more connected you feel to me, and vice versa. You see what I'm saying? Child, that's what I believe in. Let me read this comment. Somebody just wrote something in here. I was just throw it in here. Someone said Max would kill for me. Child, I let's not put him to the test. Okay? Yeah, Max don't play. He do not he do not play. He's friendly. He friendly, but don't come too fast at me. Don't come at me. Somebody said not eating booty, bitch. You do what you do. I'm just telling you, baby. Do what you do. Do what you do. But just know that there's other bitches out here doing what they do. And some of what they do ain't what you do. But what they do, your man might like. Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just telling. Um, let me see here. You said if the chemistry is not there, is there still a chance? No. Hey Terry, happy Easter. Um, um, you no, baby, no. If it no, if there's no chemistry, you can't build a relationship with somebody. I'm gonna tell you this. Um, child, I'm not gonna say who told me this because she's gonna be mad if I tell you she told me this. But somebody told me this. They said, if you don't want to get on your back for a nigga, don't marry a nigga. It's, the relationships are not all about sex. It's not. But you cannot be with somebody who you don't have chemistry with. It's very important. Mm-mm. Make them your friend, bitch. Stop trying to make a square peg feel, fit in a round hole. Um, what is this? Let me see here. Music, music artist Kim says, what are some spiritual practices that you do with your significant other? Well... But I've had to think with others. I do believe in um, doing affirmations together. Um, you know, some people like to pray together. I think that's wonderful. Um, I like to do that too. Um, other spiritual practices, just 
you know, um, oh, I like to do something where you write on paper. You write on red paper with red ink the things that you want together, that you're, that you're developing together. That's very important. Yeah, I like that. You say, why do straight black men have issues with therapy? Well, baby, it's not just straight black men. I think a lot of people of color in general have issues with therapy. And I think a lot of non-people of color have issues with therapy. But if you're speaking about the African-American community specifically, I think that the African-American community has, not all of us, but some folks, have a strong distrust of anything related to modern medicine. Rather, it's mental health treatment, anything like that, you know. And I understand because we have been victimized by the healthcare community in so many different ways that there's a distinct cultural distrust of that. But I think that's what it is. You know, we rather go to God, you know, God. The pastor going to help me get through this. Meanwhile, pastor still dealing with his childhood trauma, which is why he can't be faithful to his fucking wife. He's cheating on that bitch, but y'all just hoping that he help y'all work through y'all shit. Girl... Uh-uh. Let me see here. You say, why do men go? Same women, reason why women go, because they don't want you no more. I ain't trying to be harsh, but I'm just saying people go shit when they're done with you. I say the best way to, to, uh, to minimize opportunities to get ghosted is give people the same energy they give you. When you see them slowing down with communications, you slow down. Stop waiting for them to ghost you for you recognize that the shit is over. Slow down. You show them the same motherfucking energy they show on you. You see what I'm saying? That's what I say. Um, how long should you get to know a guy before you ask him? My bitch, tomorrow I ain't promise. Ask him out right now. Sex that nigga right now. This how you do, bitch. This how you do. Bitch, I'm good for a good FaceTime, bitch. Let me tell you, I will FaceTime you like this. Make sure your light is right, bitch. That's one of the keys to, to FaceTime, bitch. Make sure your light is right. It's my light, right? Okay. Hold on. Move my bang. <laughs> okay. Get the right angle. Okay, this is a good one. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what you mean? It's a surprise. Oh, you surprised that I'm FaceTiming you? Okay. Then you just was on my mind. Yeah. Yeah, you've been on my mind. Mm-hmm. No, it's just a beautiful day. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my day. What you doing? Nothing. Oh. So you not doing nothing, I'm not doing nothing. What we gonna do then? Mm-hmm. You hungry? Okay, let's get something to eat. Mm-hmm. When you gonna be ready? I can be ready fast. I can be ready real fast. Come on. When you gonna be ready? Okay, cool. Okay, I'm gonna get myself together. I'll hit you up when I'm leaving out the door. Girl, bitch, quit playing with me. Quit motherfucking playing with me. Okay, bitch? There's nothing ladylike about sitting on the sidelines of life waiting on a nigga to recognize you. And if you like bitches, same thing, okay? Same applies to women. Okay? Yes, okay? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Okay? I'm, let's go. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Oh, men love spontaneity. They love that shit. Everybody loves spontaneity. Okay? You said my flirting is the next level. That's what Maureen Jones said. She says, your flirting is the next level, bitch. I, you know why? Why I flirt so good, bitch? Because I do to people what I like them to do to me. It's so easy, bitch. That's the key to flirting. Right? I do to them what I like them to do to me. Would I love for someone to hit me up randomly on FaceTime that I'm really into and be like, hey, let's go out. Just spontaneous on, on some spontaneous shit. Yeah, I would love that shit. Even if I'm not available and I have to say, nah, but can we do dinner tomorrow instead? Sure. It still made me feel good. Hey, Kendra, that you did it. You see what I'm saying? You said, you, somebody says, so if you ask a man out, are you obligated to pay? Let's talk about that for a minute, okay? After I talk about my flirting, okay? So I flirt the way I like to be flirted with, right? I love it. You know what I mean? I love to be flirted with. So I do the same thing. I'm very charming, very endearing. I make sure that my tone communicates that I like and I'm into you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. I'm ready when you are. Are you surprised? Why are you surprised? Don't act like you like you don't know I don't like you. Come on now. You know I like you. You know I be looking at you all the time. Come on now. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Anyway, we'll talk about that at lunch. I'm hungry. So we going out? Okay, cool. Good. I like that. Oh, spontaneous, man. 
say I, I say something affirming to him while I'm doing it, bitch. I say something affirming to him while I'm doing it. Okay, that's how it works, bitch. What's my next question? I be forgetting shit that damn fast. Hold on, let me see here. I'm scrolling up to see if I can find a question. Y'all had another question on here that I was supposed to be answering, bitch. Remind me of my next question, bitch. Because I be getting to the moment I forget. Hold on. What's the next one? What's my, Y'all write my question. I said I was going to address something after the flirting shit. Y'all write that on here. Remind, remind me. You know, sometimes the teacher lose her memories. Okay? Because I be so into what I'm talking about. I ain't getting old. I just be into what I'm talking about. Um... Oh, you asked, should you pay? Who should pay? That's what you asked. Who should pay? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Juicy. All right. Um, thank you, Dreamy. Um, and Eva, too. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All y'all who writing in here for me, okay? Uh, now, I'm not very old school about this. I do have some traditional values things. I have some very traditional values about some things. But with this, I feel like this. For a first date, I do feel like whoever asked out should be willing to pay. However, let's let's throw a dose of masculine and feminine energy in here. And as you all know, masculine and femininity has nothing to do with the genitals between your legs. It has everything to do with your energy. So, as a feminine energy person, if I'm inviting out a masculine energy partner, first of all, a true masculine energy partner is not going to show up and be willing just to let me pay for everything. They don't do that. I don't care if you're dealing with a masculine man or masculine women. Because some of y'all like, like some very masculine women. Okay. Very handsome women. I love it. You know? And so that's one of the reasons why you... Uh, two points I want to make. That's one of the reasons why with masculine energy partners, why some of them don't invite you out because they ain't got it and they feel obligated to pay. So to that point, I know this, this point is going to sound kind of counter to what I was just saying. But just hear me out. I'm kind of giving you different angles. Okay. If you invite out a masculine energy dude... Or a woman for that matter. And you want to make sure that money is not a reason why they don't come. Then you need to invite them out to something that doesn't require money on them. Right? To put undue pressure on them. Because sometimes you like, I want to ask my, but every time I ask my, he never, he always like, whatever. Like, or claim he busy, bitch. He may not have no money right now. He could be struggling right now. But you still want to get to know him. Okay? So what I would do in that case, I hit him up like, Hey. Nothing. I was looking at this beautiful day. What you doing? Nothing. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm about to eat something real fast. But I, just, I don't know. I want to go down to um. I'm gonna go down to the beach today. Just to chill out at the beach. It's just a beautiful day. What you doing? You coming with me? See what I did, bitch. I am. If I'm not sure of his financial situation in the moment, bitch, I'm gonna invite him to do something that don't cost nothing. And he's like, damn, but I'm hungry. You don't want to get something to eat too. I mean, we can do whatever you want to do. It's up to you. It's up to you. It's up to you. Bitch, let him take care of that shit. You see what I'm saying? That's how I do, right? And so I kind of set the stage for him not to be in a bad financial position to trying to deal with me. You get what I'm going with that? Now, caveat to that, I don't particularly believe that I would, at this point in my life, would be entertaining a man who financially... Can't afford to go to lunch. That's just me. But I'm just saying, we all are different states. So that's one thing. But in general, I'm a real big believer in, especially when you're dating somebody, y'all need to split those bills every now and again. Quit playing. Y'all be like, he should pay all the time. Or if you if you like masculine women, she should pay all the time. Get rid of these fucked up ass values. Those values come from a point in time in history where women couldn't work. And so men had to pay for everything. That time don't exist. Some of y'all earn far more money than the men that y'all are dating. You see what I'm saying? And so, to me, if you know that's the case, my thing is split the bill every now and then. You know, maybe this one dinner date, when, when I pick the place, I motherfucking pay the bill. If he, and then next time, when he picked the place, he paid the bill. You know what I mean? Like, y'all got to make this shit work the right way. Y'all be turning away some niggas and losing out on niggas because y'all not trying to motherfucking deal with the bills the right way. You making this nigga feel inferior because he can't afford to go everywhere you want to go and do. That doesn't mean he's not a good man. That doesn't mean he's not a good man for you. It just means his financial situation is different than yours. You see what I'm saying? And so to me, when you go out on a date, every now and again, treat that nigga. Here's what you do, bitch. If you got a real prideful ass nigga who don't, who don't want to accept the money, bitch, let me teach you a trick. I do this all the time. I, I would do this. I do this 
if I'm on a date and I'm just trying to treat him without him knowing it, or if I'm going out with friends and it's a big old group of friends and I don't want to, and I don't want to deal with that whole bill splitting situation. Cause I'm like, bitch, you bitches are not getting me. So what you do is this, when y'all sitting there like, baby, hold on, I gotta go to, I have to um, go to the restroom real fast. I'll be back. You get it from that table. You switch away and make sure you see that good, pretty pussy walking away from that table. Oh, fat ass. Make sure you wear some shit that always make your ass look fat when you walking away from that table, bitch. And so you go and you go to whatever bar in there that he can't see. And you be like, hey, I'm at that table right there. Yeah, that one right there. Here, spark my card. Oh, I'll have your, your waiter bring it over to the table. No, I don't want him to know that I'm paying the bill. Swipe the card for me. They'll do it. You know, swipe that card for you. Be, say it polite. You know what I mean? But still, let them know this is not an option. Swipe the fucking card. And so they swipe the card. And then you sign the receipt all right there. Give the tip right there. Leave it right there. And then you come back to the table and sit down. Like, so you good? I'm great. And you like, um, you ready to go? Yeah, but I don't think they bought the bill yet. We got to get the bill. Mm, we can go. What you mean? No, they got to bring the bill. Baby, it's already taken care of. Let's go. It's taken care of, baby. Let's go. That's how you motherfucking do it, bitch. You be like, bitch, you gonna get dick down that night. That nigga be like, oh, this bitch on, this broad is on some classy shit. This broad is on some classy shit. You see what I'm saying? Do that every now and then, bitch. Do that every now and again. That way y'all ain't got to do that awkward ass. So you want to pay part the bill or do I? Bitch, do that shit. And that's, that's training him on how to handle you, bitch. Okay? A real nigga going to be like, oh, I got you. I got you. I'm all right. Next time, I'm going to do that. He going to try to figure out some slick shit to do that, bitch. And I, like I said, bitch, I do that especially when I go out with like groups and stuff like that. You, go, you know, girl, I don't mind. Like, I, like if I'm going out with a couple close friends, I don't mind that. But, like, I will go, when I go out with, like, six, seven people, and I don't know everybody, like, these birthday dinners, come to my birthday dinner, invite six, seven niggas, and be three broke-ass niggas there who gonna order half the fucking menu, meanwhile, only pay half the bill that they done got, or don't pay no tip, and fuck all the shit. I go to the thing and go pay my part of the bill, and then when the bill come, I give them my receipt. They be like, all right, you, you put in your part. I'm like, well, here's my receipt. I've already paid it. Here, there you go. Oh, <laughs> bitch, you better do it, especially if you're the one at the table um, who got the money. Nah, fuck all that shit. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, you shouldn't have showed up if you ain't had no fucking money, bitch. Stay at home, eat a sandwich. I don't give a fuck. But yeah, that's how you do it, right? Um, You handle a nigga in a way where he don't have to feel inferior in any way, shape, or form, right? It'll work out so well. So that's how I handle it, all right? You say, I'm a masculine woman when feminine women do this every once in a while. Oh, you like when women, yeah, exactly. It's it, exactly. You say, it's nice when, when your feminine partner does that for you. Absolutely. You, they ain't gotta be, it's not they trying to, you know, like, you know, motherfucking emasculate you in something in that way. No, they're not trying to emasculate you. It's just them saying I'm here. I just feel like, you know, I love the city girls. I listen to their music and shit like that. But, and not to make them the culprit for this kind of mindset, but there's a whole lot of people out here with this city girls kind of mindset of a nigga need to take care of me. And it's a whole lot of other bitches out here with the same fucking fucked up ass mindset. A nigga need to take care of you. Okay, sure. If you want a nigga, it's nothing wrong with having a nigga take care of you. Let me be very clear about that. But just because you may want a man who financially is capable of of handling it, that's great. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. That doesn't mean that you still should not use what you have occasionally to do something special for him. You see what I'm saying? If you don't, a nigga going to see you, um, going to see you as a fucking bill. That's the last thing you want to be seen as a bill. Okay, a bill or a burden. Where every time a nigga thinking he think he got to spend money, even if he got it, he don't want to do that. You know, I was telling, um, I saw Marco that. I was like, I said, don't you ever date no girl who ain't got it like you financially or financially who, who requires you to spend it all the time. I said, because you're going to get tired real fast if every time you want to go on a vacation to dinner or whatever, you don't want swiping a card. Hey, Diane, you're going to get real tired of that shit real fucking fast. And I don't give a fuck who she is, how pretty she is. At a certain point in time, when her name pop up on your phone and you associate that with spending money, you're going to stop answering your motherfucking um, call. You're going to stop. Um, you're going to stop answering her motherfucking calls. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And I, that's why I say bitches need to get smart about this shit. If you want to, if you want a real nigga with real kind of money, not to say the only real niggas that money, but I'm saying if you want a nigga with like a lot of money or whatever, or just who's doing well financially, bitch, you better come up off of those coins 
Okay, because it's 85 bitches out here who want to spend that, that nigga's money, okay? And this is about the masculine women, too. You know, when I say niggas, I'm talking, I'm talking about masculine energy, okay? Um, yeah, it's 85 bitches out here who want to spend their money, okay? And you, what you think, because you pretty with, with nice pussy? Bitch, pussy a dime a dozen. The fuck? The fuck? Bitch, please. Uh-uh. Don't let, don't let these little hood booging ass dudes who make you feel special just because you got some good pussy make you, make you not understand that you need to have something else to bring to the table. Okay? I'm just saying. Okay? You better, you better motherfucking make sure that you, um, um, that you motherfucking contribute some shit and make him feel special. Okay? Bitch, that's what I learned. Okay, bitch? I listen close. Don't play with me. I listen close, bitch. Okay, and the thing is, is I have been very fortunate in my life, very fortunate in my life with a couple of rare exceptions, bitch, that I've always dealt with men who, I'm just practicing what I preach, I'm telling you what I do, I've always dealt with men who financially have always had my back in beautiful fashion, okay, bitch, the men who I've dated have helped me out tremendously within my career, the men who I've dated have helped me out tremendously financially. And I'm not talking about just give me some money, some fucking cash. Yeah, bitch, fuck all that shit. Uh-uh, baby. Position me with relationships. Position me. I've been with men who have positioned me quite well. Okay, bitch? You know, they say behind every great man is a great woman. Shit, I got some great women behind me. But behind me, behind myself, I've had a lot of great men who've done fabulous for me. Okay, bitch? Okay, boots, bags, bangles, and businesses. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. But I was never on that gold digger shit. Never have been on that gold digger shit. But my logic is if I'm going to get on my back. I'm not talking about some of the one-off, one-night stand shit. But I'm talking about if I'm going to get on my back consistently and open my heart to you, I need some, I need you to put something other than me than just some dick. I need something. that You need to be investing something else in my life than just some dick. Okay, bitch? I need you to be motherfucking making my life better. In a lot of good ways, okay? Just because I know I'm going to make... By my presence being in your life, I'm going to be making your life better, okay? So I'm not going to sit up here and just be like, you give to me and I don't give to you. Nah, you, I'm going to make your life better. And because of that, I always treat men very good, bitch, okay? Oh, you did that for me? Oh, bitch, uh-uh. Let me show you what I can do for you. Surprise, look what I did for you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely, bitch. I don't play, okay? One of my friends pointed that out to me. He said to me... He said that to me, bitch. He said, he said, he said, I'm noticing a pattern with you. I said, what's my pattern, bitch? He said, you only fuck with niggas who make your life better. Yeah, absolutely. I'm not a gold digger. Niggas don't pay my rent. They don't pay the mortgage. They don't pay the nothing. Okay. They don't pay the car notes. They don't pay the nothing. Okay. But they make my life better, and which enables me to do all those things. Period. Okay? Period. If he doesn't make my life better, I don't fuck with him. But to that same point, I make his life better too. I make his life better too. If I have a relationship that can make him more money, I'm going to do that. I'm going to make sure I put him in that position. If there's something, if there's a need that he has that I know he's not meeting for himself, I don't care what it is. Oh, let me go ahead and get that. I'm out and about. I'm looking for shit for him. Oh, here, let me get that for him. You get that for him. Mm-hmm. He's always at the top of my mind. Always at the top of my mind. Okay, it's an exchange. I don't see it as just how can you pour into me. No, it's an exchange, bitch. It's an exchange. Okay? You do for me and make my life good. I'm going to do for you and make your life perfect. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Okay? Right? I'm, mm-mm, I'm going, and, and, and that's the other thing, bitch. Ain't no way. I'm too motherfucking old to be sitting, um, um, to be sitting, I was reading y'all's comment, I got distracted. Um, to be sitting on my goddamn back every motherfucking night taking dick from a nigga where all he bring me is, is an orgasm. Oh, I love him. That dick is bomb, bitch. Really? Your value is reduced to the value of dick? I never said, oh, girl, I would be so done with him, but that dick is so good. He's terrible, but the dick is so good. Bitch, your value is so motherfucking low that you can be bought with a couple strokes. Mm. Think about what you just said. I love him. He is so consistent. He gives me quality time, bitch. Your value is so low that all a nigga got to do is show up every night and watch TV with you. Return your text. Mm. Mm. 
Nah, bitch. Mm -mm. How has your life tangibly improved as a result of being with this nigga? I'm not saying I'm not on no gold digger shit. I'm not on no gold digger shit. But on the same page, I'm like, bitch. Both of y'all's lives should be improving as a result of being with each other. If both of y'all's lives are not improving, y'all in the wrong fucking relationship. Don't play with me. All right? And for those niggas out there who be like, well, I feel like I can't do nothing for you. And first of all, I have niggas who will say that to me. I feel like I can't do nothing for you then. Hold on, my nigga. Hold on for a second, okay? It's not that you can't do nothing for me. That's not the case, all right? It's that you've reduced your value to just what your paycheck is. I can't help that your self-esteem has reduced your value to your paycheck, okay? Because the reality is, I remember I'll give you a perfect example. Years ago, years ago, I dated this guy. Um... And without going into too much on it, but I dated a guy. The nigga made less than me. Far less than I made, right? And I wasn't making that much at the time. But he made far less than me. But he was super, 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 super smart about an area of business that could help my business, right? We had strong sexual attraction. We got along. We had great conversations. And he happened to have a professional skill set that was very, very, very good for my business, Right? I worked very hard. He was like, I, as a man, I want to contribute into your life in some way, shape, or form, but financially I can't. So let me help you with your business. Because that's a man, honey. Mask and energy, not just a man, but mask and energy, they want to help. They want to contribute. That's what they want to do. They, they can't sit in your, on the sidelines of your life. Any nigga who can watch you struggle and do nothing but bring you dick every day is a motherfucking demon, bitch. Get him away from you, honey, okay? So anyway, listen, bitch. He, he had a great way of helping me in my business. And that's what he did. He contributed that. He, helped, he brought me the knowledge, brought me the relationships, brought me all the tools. And he helped guide me in my business because he knew some shit that I didn't know. You see what I'm saying? Bitch, when I say that nigga helped me out so much, I made good money. When I made money, I, of course, I paid him his cut too. All right? I'm not a selfish kind of girl. You pay, you pay the niggas they cut. If a nigga help you make money, pay him a cut. You see what I'm saying? That way he can keep on doing it for you. You know, <laughs> bitch, when it come down to it, right? And so anyway, long story short... I, it's not about for me or for you doing the same things, reducing the man to saying, oh, he got to have money, money. Or no, it's not about that. It's not about that. Because some niggas like, well, I can't do for you financially, so I must not be the right one for you. Shut the fuck up. Okay? Build up. Somebody said, wake up, Max. Max, wake up. Wake up, baby. Wake up. Wake up, baby. Y'all want to see Max? Here go Max right here. There go Max. He knocked out. Mm-hmm. It's not about reducing a man's value to financials. That's not what it's about. All right? Somebody said, complete the look. Oh, brush my eyebrows. Oh, brush my eyebrows. I'm sorry, baby. She said, brush your eyebrows. She said, you so handsome, baby. Brush your... Victoria Lynn said that. She said, you handsome, baby. Brush your goddamn eyebrows, bitch. That's what she said to me. Um, I just did. I just did, girl. I just woke up. Okay? But um, listen, it's not about reducing a man to the size of his wallet. But it's about saying, okay... Based on who you are and what you do, right? How can you bring value as a man to my life? So I'm going to bring value to your life. But how can you bring value to my life? It ain't got to be money, but how can you bring value to my life? If a, man, if a man can't bring value to your life, then bitch, you's a dumb bitch for fucking him. Yes, I said it. If a man can't bring value to your life, you's a dumb bitch for fucking him. Okay. If a man can't bring value to your life, you's a dumb bitch for fucking him. I he I I I I I he I I, I be lonely sometimes, bitch. So, so, so pussy ain't free, and dick ain't neither, bitch. Okay, let's be real fucking clear about that, because some of these niggas would not be coming over your house if you wasn't cooking for them and doing all kinds of stuff. You bringing value to his life, bitch. Okay, I make no motherfucking bones about it. Niggas say, well, damn, you know, I feel like, so what? I got I to gotta do all this to be with you? Check my credentials. Check my credentials. Okay? Every nigga who I've chosen to be in a substantial relationship with, we contributed positively into one another's lives. It's a part of the agreement. Nigga, me being on my back ain't enough of a contribution. Yeah, it's a, this is a California king, honey. That's why I got so much shit in the bed. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. So that's all I'm going with it anyway, y'all. I got to get the fuck up. Because I'm hungry as a motherfucker. 
Honey, Max is snoring like fuck, but I'm starving. So y'all go ahead. Um, I'm going to post this on YouTube in a minute so y'all can watch it over there. Or watch, or, all right, so give me like five minutes to post it over there. That's what the replay going to be, all right? I'm going to put this on YouTube, y'all. Bye, y'all.